I wonder who you think you are. Do you damn well think you are God or something? God give life, God taketh it away, not you. I think you are the devil itself. It was a full year before the Ripper struck again on a playing field in Leeds. Body identified as that of 28-year-old Irene Richardson. For the police, clues were still hard to come by, but psychiatrists were now helping them to build a picture of the sort of man they were looking for. Uh, hello, everyone. This is a, another gloomy night in Leeds, and we're doing the, the murder of Irene Richardson, who was found basically where we are now. That famous picture of her uh, lying on the ground. I was just here. This is the the um, changing rooms. I'm still here, and she was dragged. She was murdered over there, and she was dragged to about here. And you can see a picture of her lying on the ground here. Um, it was the 6th of Feb, 1977. Um, Irene was originally from Glasgow and she ran away um, uh, originally to London. Um, she ran away in 1965 and she had two children who were given up to foster care. The, this is Round A Park. This is, this is Soldiers Field in Round A Park, not in Chicago. Um, this, uh, the army used to train here, that's why it gets its name. It's one of the biggest parks in the UK. It goes on for, it goes on for miles. Um, in 1971, she married George Richardson, and they had two more children, um, Amanda and Irene, and they were living in Blackpool. Irene's grave is actually in Blackpool. I don't think I'm going to get a chance to, to go there on this trip. I'm doing a lot of miles for these 13 videos. Who knows though, but I doubt it. Um, uh, Irene kept running away from home. Um, not long after the children were born, she ran away uh, to, to London. Uh, George found her, she moved back in. Then she would run away again. Um, George had reported a missing by October of 1976. Uh, Irene's younger children had been fostered. Uh, Irene spent a lot of time homeless and she turned to prostitution. Uh, she moved into a flat not too far away from here. Uh, she told a resident that she was going to Tiffany's nightclub. Um, she left at 11.30 that night and by midnight she was dead. Um, that's a bit of background about Ivy Richardson. Now, um, she was just 28 years old. Uh, Sutcliffe, so obviously again, the information we get is from him. So who knows what's true and what's not. He said he picked her up at Round Day Road, which is, I don't know Leeds. You know Leeds better than me, whoever you are. Uh, I think it's this street here, where the cars are. Um, right, in the last few years, Jimmy Savile has become a part of this particular murder. Uh, this block of flats at the top was his penthouse, famously where he lived, famously where he died. Um, the penthouse got torn down. It looks like there's a penthouse up there again now. Um, do you want me to get up closer? Well, maybe I can do that. Um, I I know nothing, you know. I'm just basically read a book and doing this. It's not my research. So who am I to voice an opinion? Jimmy Savile didn't murder Irene Richardson. Like people have cottoned on to these days. That's what people say. They seem to be the big thing that Jimmy Savile could have murdered Irene Richardson. Jimmy Savile lived up there. I can see somebody up there. But it was torn down. But from there to there, you could probably have seen her body. 
And this is where, if you've seen the Lurie Theroux documentary, the waiting room, that's where the light is shining there. Where they go for a pizza, that's just over there. Um, so it's all pretty near. It's kind of strange to think that, no, to me, what is my opinion, what does it matter? Jimmy Savile didn't murder this lady, but two people who are arguably two of the most evil people of the 20th century were this close to each other on that night, a murder happened. That is truly bizarre. They, of course, Jimmy Savile and Peter Sutcliffe would meet in Broadmoor. The case of Jimmy Savile is one of the most weirdest, baffling cases ever of a totally different subject. But he had free reign abroad more. He met Peter Sutcliffe. And so did Frank Bruno, but I don't think he knew who he was meeting. Um, but he was in that night, Jimmy Savile, and he was questioned by the police, and they took a sample of his teeth. They made him take a bite mark. So they were, I think they were asking everybody, but he was known to use prostitutes, and one was murdered here to there. Um, the first big clue was left. Irene Richardson was the third murder, because he pulled up in here. It looks like these tyre tracks are here now. Well, nothing like these, because you can't actually see the tyre print really very well. But he pulled into here. Um, and as he did, he attacked from behind and dragged her around to the front and finished murdering her. Uh, I don't go into the details of the actual crimes, but this one was very brutal. Um, yeah. Intestines were pulled out and wrapped around a race, much like Jack the Ripper. That's probably why the media started calling him the Yorkshire Ripper. But I don't think I'm going to get through the grave. But another tragic case of a young girl lost in life who kept running away and then found the wrong person. There's about here where he would have pulled in these tire traps here. And she was attached to there and dragged her onto the front. Um, horrible case. So infamous, so much infamy. And the Jimmy Savile block of flats. Crazy, isn't it? I found that so weird. From there to there. Good morning, everybody. I am. Um, I did make it to Blackpool to see Irene's grave. Um, forgive my appearance. I've been hiking all morning, and I'm in a bit of a bit of a mess. There's a. Can you see the uh, horse? Uh, lorries, horses, and this is like a horse-drawn carriage over here for the funeral. A funeral. I've never seen that in a cemetery before. I remarried a George Richardson in 1971. And I discussed, I believe I discussed, because it was quite a long time ago now I filmed at Round Hay Park. Um, she kept running away. But this is Irene's grave. Irene, a guard found the path was growing rough. The hill too steep to climb, so he gently closed her eyelids and whispered, Peace be fine. Oh. Oh. A picture of Irene I've never seen. It's really nice to see, um, you know, like you do these. And the whole point of doing these was these people die as. Uh, die in infamy, they die of 
gruesome acts and they are people, they are mothers. And you don't see that picture of a of Irene, I've never seen that picture. I did quite a lot of research for this over the last six months or so. Irene was just 26 years old, she was a mother, she was a daughter and she was taken um, brutally um, and with the loud hum of the electricity meter behind me. I don't know. Weird. Always like you drive to the like I've driven I'm doing a couple I've done a hike this morning and I've driven to Blackpool in a good mood, happy and you come here and it's just always knocks you even when you think it's not gonna um, people think it doesn't because you're doing a video about it, but it really does. Um, seeing somebody's grave, there's so many graves here. And I don't know, life is crazy, isn't it? Um, Irene, just over there, you probably can't see it on the screen, died in infamy because of a coward's act. And of all these graves here, I can only give you any information on one. And that's a horrible situation, really, because, you know, she deserved life. Um, but this is the last video of these. It's been a crazy four days doing them in Leeds, and then this is February 14th. <laughs> I think this is Valentine's Day. So this is what I do on Valentine's Day. Um, but this is the last bit I've filmed, you'll have many more videos to come on these. Um, the horrible videos, um, but people that are interested in crime, I, uh, I do hope, I don't know, what you get out of them, or what I get out of doing them, but whatever it is, I hope you stay safe. Right, peace. I've got another trek to Liverpool now, I think. Where I used to live. Right, I'll speak to you later.